Hey, how's it going guys? So from the last video, we learned how to use Microsoft Azure Form Recognizer API to extract values from a table. In this video, we're going to learn how to extract the information from a receipt. So here I have a purchase receipt from Walmart. And using the Form Recognizer API, we'll be able to uh, extract different types of information from this receipt. All right, so here, let me go into my Python script. And here's the code snippet from uh, the previous video. All right, so let me start by creating my form recognizer client instance. Next, I'm going to create a variable called receipt URL. And I'll grab the receipt URL. And I'll pass the uh, string to the receipt URL variable. And I'll create the variable. All right, so to uh, analyze the receipt from the form recognizer client object, we want to use the begin recognize receipts from URL method. And if I'm passing an image, then we'll be using begin recognize receipts from a method. All right, so here let me delete this method and let me increase the font size. All right, so inside the begin recognize receipts from URL method, I'm going to pass the receive URL. And I'll name the output as Paula. And I'll create a Paula object. And here have a typo. Here, let me retype the method name again. And once I created the polar option to retrieve the result, I'll reference the result method. And I'll name the output as result. And if I put in the result option, and this is what we have. Inside the list, based on how many receipts uh, this API is able to detect, each receipt is going to be uh, their own individual recognized form uh, named tuple. All right, so here I want to uh, insert a loop. So I can say that for receipt in result. And if we look at uh, the properties, so we can print the uh, form type. And this will return a pre-built receipt. And other things such as the fields. Here, let me put a break right here. And I'll run the loop. All right, so if I print uh, line 19, that will give us pre-built receipt. If I print receipt.fields, it's going to return a dictionary. Now going back to the image. All right, so if we look at uh, this receipt, on the receipt, we have the purchase item. Then we have other information such as uh, the barcode, the transaction ID, approval number, uh, phone number, store name, and other things. All right, so here let me take a look. So from this statement, if I reference the items method, and it's going to print every single uh, item that the API is able to extract. So this is going to be a little bit difficult to uh, to read. Basically, we want to uh, iterate each item from receipt.fields.items method. And what we can do here is we can grab the name followed by the field name. And let's print both value. And this should be uh, in. All right, so let me run the loop again. So here are all the items. So if I want to separate the uh, purchase item, if name is equals to items, then I know uh, that's going to be the uh, purchase item. And let's call this uh, purchase item. 
then want to uh, iterate each field within the uh, item object. So for let's do let's do this. I want to return the element index as well. So here I will say for index and value in enumerate and giving the field object. I want to print uh, the item name. And it's going to be item followed by the index number. I'm going to start our number from one. Then I want to print uh, the purchase item name. So for item name in item. Oops. This should be item name in item in value. Let's change value to item because here we need to reference uh, the value attribute, the items. They want to print the item name, item value, and confidence value. And if name value is not items, then I know uh, it's outside the purchase items. In that case, I'll simply print the variable name, field value, and field confidence. Oh, so here let's uh, insert a string. Now if I run this loop, and here I'm getting uh, the form field object is not uh, iterable. Let me see. Oh, this should be uh, that values. All right, so let me run the loop again. value. Okay, so this time we have uh, some results back. Oh, so I need to uh, indent this line as well. Alright, so here let's take a look at uh, the output. So here's item number one, uh, which is going to be Gary. And the dollar amount is going to be two dollars and seven cents. The second item is going to be candy, and for the amount of uh, four dollars and thirty-six cents. And here the API recognizes the value as four hundred and thirty-six. Then we have lost the ring for the dollar amount of four dollars and forty-eight cents. Uh, this one is incorrect as well. All right, so let's try a different receipt. All right, so let's use this one. All right, so here let's uh, run uh, this code block. Oh, I forgot to update the URL. Right, so let me take a look. And let's get the status first. All right, so we have to see. So here let's insert if condition. If 
polar, oops, polar da status is equals to to C. Then we'll create the result option. All right, so let's take a look. So this receipt is not in English, but I think that'll be okay. Right, so here I'm getting the same result as last time. Let's see. Right, so here's gear array. Right, so uh, let's go back. Maybe a different we see. I think this one looks pretty good. All right, so let me run this uh, if statement. All right, so this time we have a uh, different result. And if we just do a quick comparison, and here we have the first item, and I noticed that uh, the API is not able to recognize the uh, decimal point. So item number one should be six dollar and thirty two cent, and for item number two, it's not able to extract the uh, dollar amount. And if we look at the uh, things outside the uh, transaction items. So here we have the merchant name, merchant phone number, what type of receipt, the tax amount, and the total amount. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this tutorial. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. For the next video, I'm going to show you how to use phone recognizer API to extract information from a business card.